And we are back with WSJ Lunch Break. Okay, Google Glass, what exactly do you plan to do with all that data you have captured? Eight members of Congress, they are questioning Google CEO Larry Page on privacy safeguards for the company's new Google Glass wearable computing device. Joining me right now is WSJ Corporate Deputy Bureau Chief Spencer Ante, who has a particular focus in technology. Hi. This, hi. You've got this letter right here. This is a bipartisan yeah. group uh, of Congress congressmen who have filed this letter. Yeah. What are they really concerned about with this Google Glass technology? Right. So it's a, it's a very it's a new technology that hasn't been created before in the consumer world. They they have this technology in the military, like heads-up displays have been used, but it's coming out into the wild in in, in the consumer world and. It's about privacy, right. okay? Because these glasses can let you take video, they can let you upload that video into the cloud, you can be in a bar, and they don't, they're not much bigger than what you're wearing right there. Yeah, yeah, and so people are wondering, people are concerned in, in Washington and elsewhere that, you know, when you're allowed to walk around in the world and record everything and photograph everything, what does that mean for privacy in right. the digital age? And so they sent this letter and they've got a bunch of questions. They're asking Google to get them to respond you know, by June 14th, some information like, for example, facial recognition technology, sure. which is probably one of the killer apps yeah. of, of the glasses. Right. Like you walk into, not a bar, but you walk into like a conference, right. okay? Wouldn't it be great if you could have an app that identified every person and that you met? You and quickly told So you knew, had their name at your fingertips and you could like, pretend like you actually knew who they were and, and, and have a good conversation with them. So, but That's the intelligent use of it. Then, yes. But you said forget about the bar, but there are some bars who've been concerned enough to even think about banning Google Glass coming to the bar because yeah. people might use them for other reasons. Right, right. So people, one thing people are concerned about is they want to know if they're being recorded. They want to know if they're being videotaped or audio recorded. And it's like, Google says if the light goes on, then that will signify, like you know, the red light on the camera yeah. that you're being recorded. But I will say this: hard to see though, Spencer. It right? could be hard yeah. to see, and it's like Google says you have to voice activate the glass so people would know that you're being recorded. But you could turn on the recorder and then walk around the corner; nobody would have any idea. Right. But I will let me just say one thing, which is that Google actually does understand that this is going to cause consternation in the public, and they've been very careful to roll it out slowly. It's not actually widely available. It's right only now. available to a, a few thousand people who yeah. paid fifteen hundred dollars early to be developers yes. for this. We, you and I, really couldn't as consumers get one until pro probably next year. Yeah, they said they're going to mass produce it for next year. Yeah. Also, Google is, has restrictions around uh, how the apps that are being developed can be used on Glass. So, for example, you're not allowed to do advertising. You're not allowed to share personal data with other right. parties. And so, it's the beginning of this process. I think Congress is doing a smart thing by getting them to sort of be more transparent about it even more than they are now. And the issue is what will Google, which will have that data in its cloud, how, what steps will they take to protect your privacy once that data has been yeah, accumulated? Yeah, and, and will they change their privacy policy? Like Congress says here, is, it, is Google considering um, tweaking its privacy policy to take into account the new technology? Google says right now that its existing privacy policy will be applied to glass, but that may change too, we'll see. All right, Spencer Ante, thanks for that, and we have uh, that letter available for you to read up on WSJ.com.